Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to go over the sequence of operation for a gas furnace. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. I'm on a service call right now for this package unit. This is an air conditioner and at the same time it is a furnace. As you can see this is our gas pipe and here's our compressor for cooling. So we're going to focus today on the sequence of operation but I just want to point out something that I've noticed right off the bat. I'm looking at this, that, I'm looking at this relay and down there I can see the thing burnt off and a piece of the contact from that relay is in this stake on so this thing burnt up and one thing i noticed that's so terrible please never do this and really do not work on this type of equipment if you're not a professional there's a jumper wire on the rollout switch that means the flame came out of here and shut this down it shut it down for a reason that is not something to play with so I'll be evaluating this after, but while I'm here, I figured this would be a perfect time for the beginning of the season to go over the sequence of operation. So, first things first. We're gonna get a call from our thermostat. And the way we're gonna do that is by setting the thermostat to heat, and we're gonna set the thermostat to a temperature above the room temperature. So let's say it's 70 in the room, we're gonna set it to 74. From there, all the fun begins. So here, here's our burner section and here are all our components. So what's gonna happen, first thing is that this board, which this is actually basically our ignition controller, this board is gonna send power to this motor. This is a draft motor. So what's gonna happen is this motor is gonna start and then we have an air proving switch to prove that we have air being moved and inside this motor th this piece right here this is actually an air switch you can see there's another set of wires coming out of here so once this motor starts this switch has to close to prove that we have air and I want to show an example of another type of air switch on the unit right down there because you know it's just good to see other things and different styles of air switches and honestly this is the typical one that i see so to find a unit like this this is another burner section works the same way just a little different so here's our inducer motor and this is the air switch sometimes you just see like a little round switch with a tube all right so inducer motor starts and then you see it's safe pushing it from here once this switch proves that this is running then we continue to the next step so we got our call for heat our draft motor started everything's working then our air switch closes gives us the okay to move on to the sequence of operation next what happens is you see this is our gas valve and if you see this little silver tube coming out, that's a pilot tube. So we have a pilot here. Uh, but if you look here, we have a spark igniter. So this is different from a standing pilot system, but we still have a pilot. So what happens is there's two solenoids in here. One solenoid is gonna energize for your pilot tube and it's gonna send gas across this tube. And at the same time, this little switch right here this is your igniter. It's going to send high voltage. You're going to hear a little tick, 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 and it's going to ignite the gas that came out of the pilot tube. Once, and this pilot tube goes across here. Once this pilot tube has a flame and it goes all the way across, okay, this is your flame sensor. Now it's sensing, okay, we have fire. Then this comes back, kind of comes back to your ignition control and says, all right time to move on to the next step we have a f um, fire so we're good on that end and we have air next this board is gonna send voltage to the main gas valve solenoid and it's gonna open 
the main gas valve and you're gonna hear a whoosh and that whoosh is gonna be a much larger uh, amount of gas being shot through this burner and that's what's gonna you know give us our flame and you're gonna see flames coming out of your burners so and that's of course gonna be heating up the heat exchanger in the back of this unit here we have a switch a limit switch which is a safety device which can shut you off this piece here which this guy jumped out terrible idea this is your rollout switch if the flame comes out it's gonna sense heat here shut you down and once we have a flame here we're gonna have heat okay then we have a switch here and basically as soon as you have a fire you don't want to start your indoor motor right away because you're gonna be blowing cold air on your customers so what happens is that there's another switch here that it has to sense heat and once it sends heat then that's gonna energize your blower and a lot of times you're gonna find another limit switch like in the blower section see if it gets too hot you know it's gonna shut you down things of that sort so yeah that's pretty much it i just want to go over a quick recap we get a call from our thermostat that we want heat by raising the temperature above the room temperature there our draft motor inducer motor is going to start once we prove that we are moving air through the air switch these contacts are going to close send a signal back to the board and say all right we got air from there we're gonna open up the gas valve here and we're gonna open up our pilot valve so the the solenoid for your pilot tubing is gonna open and it's gonna send gas through this tube once it sends gas through that tube here's your spark igniter this thing's gonna tick 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 spark and we're gonna have a flame and this tube goes across this burner section once we feel the flame made its way around the other end we have a flame sensor here just a little rod it heats up and tells us okay we got fire now we got air and we got fire and from there Next, we're gonna get a signal from our ignition control again to our gas valve, but we're gonna open up the solenoid for our main valve. And then that's gonna send gas through here. And then a larger amount of gas is gonna shoot through these burners and you're gonna get a whooshing sound. And that is because we already had a flame there and we're adding more gas and we're gonna have a nice flame. After a little bit of time, this thing is gonna heat up is either gonna be like a temperature sensor or there's gonna be some sort of time delay that it wants to ensure that we actually have heat okay in the burner section before we start the fan because you don't want to blow cold air on your customers so once we sense the heat either after the timer or a temperature sensor it's going to then turn on your fan you got heat of course we have safety controls like your rollout switch so if the flame goes back because we have a blockage of air or many other reasons that's going to shut you down we have temperature limit switches basically if things get too hot we're shutting you down because this is a very dangerous style of unit so that's pretty much it if anybody found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all next time